Hello everyone, this is Mason from electronics123.com and today I'm going to go over one of our easiest and best-selling sound modules that we have to offer. This sound module I have right here is the FN-BC04-TV. It's a terminal block version, makes it so when you're prototyping for your um, projects that you don't have to solder then unsolder then resolder wires. You can simply just screw and unscrew the terminal blocks to attach to the wires. This sound module works with any computer that has a free and unused USB port. It also has a micro SD card reader. So by default, this has four megs of um, storage on the board, which, which is equivalent to around four minutes of MP3 sound files. But say you want a longer sound file, um, this board supports up to a 32 gigabyte S micro SD card so you can fit hours of sound files on this module. This module has a built-in 10 watt amplifier, which is able to drive a really powerful, small form factor speaker that we also carry on our website. Um, this is rated at, from testing in our own facility, around 85 to 90 decibels at one meter, so three feet. And that's fairly loud enough for everyone's um, projects that they're working on. This cell module is also very small in size. It's around two inch by two inch, so fairly small. Um, can be hid discreetly in any of your projects. This cell module also operates on a wide range of voltages, anywhere from 8 to 24 volt DC, so it can run, be ran off of double A's, well eight double A's, nine volt battery, um, wall warts, um, you can use um, car type batteries, anything that's 12 volt. I know in the past I've used garage door opener batteries. Um, they're 12 volt, very, full, very small form factor, hold a charge for a long time, and they're re really easy to recharge. This sound module also has adjustable volume that is on the board. So it's just a potentiometer that you can fit a small screwdriver in and all the way left is zero volume, all the way right is max volume. Um, you can always adjust, I try to stick around half volume or below. That seems to be the best quality, nothing's being overdriven and you can still hear it across the room. The sound module also supports two types of sound files. It supports MP3 sound files and WAV sound files. So depending on whichever one you wanna use, you can use either of those two. Let's get back to how to put the sound files onto the device. It's fairly simple and straightforward. Um, all you need is a micro USB cable, um, very common with almost every older generation Android phones. Um, it's their charging cable. Um, just plug one end into the sound module and the other end into your computer and the sound module will pop up as a removable device. Once the sound module pops up on your computer, it should have four preloaded sound files from our manufacturer. This is one of our testing um, steps that allows us to make sure everything's functioning properly before we ship it out to you guys. To remove those sound files, you simply highlight them and press delete on your keyboard or highlight them, right click and hit delete. That will get rid of the sound files on your sound module that are the default from our manufacturer. Then to put your sound files onto the sound module, this does have four buttons and depending on what you name the sound file, it depends on what button that it, this sound module does have four buttons. So depending on what you name your sound file, it depends on what button it will be used to activate it. So it's a little bit of a weird naming convention. So for button one, you want to name your sound file 001, for button two, 002, and so on and so forth till button four, which is 004. This sound module only supports one sound per button as of right now. We do have other versions um, that allow multiple sounds to be played back on one button. I'm using folders, but of course that's one of our other products that we carry and I will go into detail about that on that product's um, video. And if you guys are interested, um, the product I am talking about is the FN-BC20. 
to go along with this video, I will have a written how-to to get this module up and running in its basic forms. Of course, this module does have a lot more potential, but this is just a basic video on how to set it up and get it running for your basic project that you need to add some sound to. If you guys have any questions, feel free to contact us or send us an email to support at electronics123.com. All this information will be down in the description, including a shopping list. If you have not yet purchased this module and are looking to in the future, um, I will include the link to just the module, some tools you might need to use if you don't have them laying around your house. And I will also include a link to a kit that has the speaker, the four buttons, a battery pack, and a nine volt um, battery adapter, just so you can a few different versions that you can use on your project to spice it up and add some sound. Thanks again everyone for tuning in. This is Mason with electronics123.com and have a nice day.